Hey, I'm Brian Vance, SportbikeTracker.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new Icon Field Armor compression shirt. Okay, this retails for $150 as of the time we're shooting this video. Please understand, we don't update videos for pricing changes only if the product itself has been fully redesigned. This is kind of a unique piece, right? This is a D3O equipped item that doesn't have any CE certification. What they've done is in strategic places, they've used D3O flat stock along with some energy absorbing foam to give you a good measure of protection in the impact areas. They've also reinforced the externals with some Kevlar reinforced fabric. Anywhere you see that kind of yellow and black fabric, right, you're going to have additional tear and abrasion resistance. Anywhere you see this foam, okay, some of these inserts, as far as I can tell, aren't D3O. They're not all D3O, but like here in the chest, elbows, forearm, shoulders, I believe in the back, some areas have like two layers. This is designed to be worn under something really casual, right? Say you want to take a ride in a hoodie, you're just going for just a shorty, you know what I mean? And you're like, man, if I fall off this thing, that's just going to suck in this hoodie. This is just something to kind of hedge that bet a little bit. Is it going to give you the same measure of protection that wearing a full-blown textile jacket will? The answer to that is no, it will not. But it's going to be better than nothing. Let's talk sizing. 5 feet 11 inches tall, 32 inch waist, 197 pounds. I am wearing a size large in this right now. The way it feels, I mean, it's, it's pretty dang tight. I'd probably be better served if I went up one to the extra large. It's still so stretchy. I mean, this is, isn't bad, but if I go like that, it feels like it's going to pull on it kind of hard. So use that if you're interested in this product to help you choose the right size for yourself. But it is, tur look at that, turbo elastic. You could be enjoying a, lo a lot of cold beverages and it would still work out, right? My weight tends to go up and down, so this would, would be uh, appropriate for me, probably one size up. If you like what you see, you have more interest to see where those little segments of D3O are, I'm going to try and show you that in the second part of this video. Okay, now we'll give you a quick inside out look at the all new Icon Field Armor compression shirt. This is a pretty unique piece. It's really lightweight, it's really thin, right, and it just moves with you. It's very elastic, okay? It's meant to be worn under something, not as the primary piece of protection. So if you like to ride in a hoodie, but you'd still like to have some armor, this is a great way to get yourself there without having all that bulk. The main chassis of the shirt is just this stretchy fabric, nice mesh, so you're going to have a lot of airflow. Any of this type of fabric you see here, this is Kevlar reinforced. You're going to find that in the impact zones here in the back the shoulders, the elbows, and forms. Each one of these panels you see here, okay, there is going to be either foam pieces or foam and some D3O in there to help manage impact. None of it carries any CE certification. This is just like sheet stock that's cut to shape and put in these places. Some of the spots, you'll actually have maybe two layers of material. It's still very thin, right? but you'll have it kind of stacked up just a little bit like here in the shoulder. That's a real impact zone. You can feel some additional thickness there. Kind of a cool concept. The areas where I was able to see D3O were here in the chest, and you can see that right there. Still perforated to preserve the airflow. Also here in the elbows, uh, shoulder area, and then I believe, you know, and I couldn't really see through this here in the back, but I do believe that some of these back pieces as well have a layer of the D3O. It feels like there's two layers in there. So kind of a cool concept, right? This isn't meant to be a standalone piece. This is meant to be a complement to another casual piece of riding gear just to help you be a little bit more protective. You'll also note that you have the little thumb hook right here, thumb loop in the sleeves to help you get your sleeves you know, in place still when you go through the arms of the jacket or the hoodie, right? And that's kind of intuitive. And then for the main zip, we have a real light gauge uh, locking zipper for the main zipper. Any questions or comments, just leave them in this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and we are here to help you choose the right gear.